Yo guys, it's Clay here, back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be checking out my best settings in the Modern Warfare 2 beta. This is most likely going to be my settings going into Modern Warfare 2 whenever it drops in October. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're going to quickly get into it. I'm not going to try to keep you all too long. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. For my controller settings, I always put on Tactical Flipped. I grew up playing on the PS3 and mainly on Modern Warfare 3. That's what I mainly played whenever I was little. My horizontal stick sensitivity and vertical stick sensitivity is at 10. My ADS sensitivity is at 0.9. I heard that whatever you put this on is what equals to your horizontal and vertical. So I need that just a little bit under because I'm not really that cracked whenever it comes. I like it to be a little bit slower. My aim down side behavior is hold. That is where you just have to hold down your aim trigger. My auto attack sprint or my auto sprint is on auto attack sprint. My equipment behavior is on hold and that is where you just hold the grenade and you can let go to throw it. My weapon mount, I had just left this on default. This is the default right here. I'd use tap to reload armor plate, which doesn't really matter. And getting into the graphics, this is mainly for PC. I am running a full screen my display monitor my graphics card i run 144 screen refresh rate 1440p monitor my aspect ratio is automatic i don't like to mess with that i turn vsync off and the gameplay and in the menus my custom frame rate is unlimited or custom my bad and i put my frames at 250 in game my menu is 120 i don't actually know why that's supposed to be at 60 out of focus custom frame rate that's basically whenever i like minimize the game or whatever on the quality tab i have everything on custom which 100 for my render resolution i, I think that's always supposed to be at 100 my nvidia dlss is balanced my texture resolution is high, which I can actually turn that down to normal because I really don't need that much. My texture filter is on high. My particle quality is high. Bullet impact sprays, I could turn that off. Shader quality is high. My tessellation, I turn that off usually. On demand texture streaming is off. Streaming quality is normal. Shadow map resolution is low. Spot shadow quality, I can turn that to low. Cache spot shadows and sun shadows are on. Particle lighting normal. Ambient occlusion is both. Depth of field is off. Weapon motion blur and world motion blur are off. My film grain is at zero. And getting into the field of view, I have it on 120. My ADS field of view is affected. Weapon field of view. I heard that putting it on wide makes your gun look smaller. So you can see more on your screen. So I definitely recommend using this. Third person field of view is 90. I actually can turn this down. I don't know what this does, but I will try it and I'll let you guys know if it's good. Now getting into the audio, uh, this is just what I use. You don't have to copy this down, but I'll go over it. So that is my settings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please hit that like button. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.